What's up guys, it's Brandon Flash. Today we're at the Charlotte, North Carolina Electrify America station at Walmart, of course. And we're gonna be doing a zero to 100 DC fast charging test on this 2021 Volkswagen ID4 Pro S rear wheel drive. We've got the GoPro hooked up, we've got Electrify America charging here. We're on a 350 kilowatt station, even though the ID4 can only do 125 kilowatt. Just wanted to go over some of the testing procedures. We did drive quite a bit before we got here. Um, drove for about 45 minutes, enough to warm up the battery. So that way it's at its optimal thermal management temperature. It's at about 77 degrees. That's what Volkswagen keeps their battery at. And it's actually 79 degrees outside ambient temp. Shouldn't be too warm of a battery, just right. Let's jump right into this charging session, see how it does. We're starting off at 0%, right up to 125 kilowatt. Does go slightly above 125 kilowatt with the battery cooling ramping up. Battery is fairly warm from driving it for about 45 minutes. Still 130, 129 or so. You can see that about four kilowatt is going towards battery cooling. Already up to 20% here, just about. and 20% in about eight minutes, very good. Let's see here, 22 kilowatt already in 10 minutes, 130 kilowatts, still a lot of power going towards battery cooling even at above 30%. Let's see how fast we get up to 50%. This car is holding essentially max rate pretty deep in the pack, over 30%. Now we're at 100, below 100 kilowatt at about 40%. Dropping down to about 90 kilowatt, 45%. And we're just about to 50% in 20 minutes. That's very good. And we're down to about 85 kilowatt. Apologize for these numbers being kind of hard to read. And we're at 60%, still doing over 80 kilowatt in less than half an hour. Volkswagen does claim, as I said, five to 80% in about 38 minutes. Let's see how fast we get to 80% starting from zero. And we're now at about 70 kilowatt at now crossing that 38 minute threshold at 79%. So very close to what Volkswagen says, going from zero rather than from 5%. And this is where the charging starts to really taper down, but over 50 kilowatt at 80 plus percent is very solid in my opinion. Uh, occasionally, depending on where you're road tripping, you may have to go above 80%. And compared to the Mustang Mach-E that drops off a cliff to about 12 kilowatt, 80%, Really happy that the ID4 holds it pretty deep into the pack, even well into the 90% range. We're now at 90%, still getting 41 kilowatt. And just a reminder, this is an 82 kilowatt hour battery pack with 77 kilowatt hour usable. But on this charging screen, it's showing charge power delivered to the car. So not all of that's necessarily going towards the battery pack. And here we're at 95%. So if I was getting a meal or something while on the road, I would be, not be too unhappy with that. I did have to change the battery in the GoPro. Apologize for that little glitch there. And this is where it starts to get pretty darn slow. We're at 29 kilowatt, but still 20 kilowatt at 99%. My Model S 70D would be at single digit kilowatt, probably three or four kilowatt at 99%. There you can see it would have cost $34.83 at 43 cents a kilowatt hour if I was paying for it. But thanks to Volkswagen's three years of free Electrify America, cost me nothing. And back to in-person Brandon. We ended up having 81 kilowatt hour delivered to the car in an hour and five minutes. I would say that's pretty solid. Capped out at about 130 kilowatts. So I believe quite a bit was going towards battery cooling. I think I may have heated up the battery a little bit too much with my ripping it around to drain down the battery. So this may not be a 100% scientific test, but these never are. Uh, check out Kyle Connors, Tom Malogny's tests as well if you want another basis for comparison. But I think just over an hour for zero to 100 is a very solid showing. 
and I'm very happy with that. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button for more ID4 and other EV content.